Well, as you say, you know, Colt Keith, um, definitely, you know, he looks bigger, really maturing and filling out the power. Boy, it's a small sample that we've seen this spring, but it looks real. Uh, he's hitting the ball really hard. A couple of those home runs have been mammoth. Uh, love what we see. I, I am, I'm in no, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'll get him up here. You know, I, I think they have the team, unless things go extremely well this year, the team's not going anywhere special. They don't need to rush Colt Keith. I mean, he had a short year last year. He only had, I think, just under 300 at bats. Um, and it was a good year, but it was an injury, you know, marred year. Let him have this year. Let him learn. Let him develop. I think they might have something special there. Raj had him as an all-star uh, as well, uh, around 24, 25. So let's hope. I mean, that would obviously be the best-case scenario, uh, no matter where he plays. I think the one guy we also haven't mentioned besides Meadows, uh, John mentioned him. I think Isaac Pacheco. I'm really interested to see more Isaac Pacheco. Um, I've heard just through a grapevine that of some people I know, they are monstrously uh, impressed with Isaac Pacheco. So uh, does that power come through? Is it real? I think there's a chance it is. The one thing I added was like maybe the number three pick this year, which could be like Wyatt Langford or Dylan Cruz, but that would probably be more like 2027 probably. It would, that'd be years down the line. It's going to be really interesting if it is Dylan Cruz, if, if, if because of signability and what teams want to spend and how they want to manipulate their uh, signing bonuses, if Dylan Cruz falls to the Tigers, that would be a godsend. My goodness, that would be amazing. 